<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, so I came to make a video for you. I still ain't taking back what you done done to the collective because I don't give a darn about that. But you, sweetie pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. So what I think just happened happened, right? Um the person that is the energy that you are so worried about, right? No ma'am. Okay? So y'all ladies have to remember and in tarot in tarot you have to remember that when you are getting energies sometimes you will pick up any energy that is surrounding them right so this is why y'all have to be careful about going to get readings on people you know this is what i'm about to tell you because if you're a good tarot reader you would know that this is a thing so say you know me and you we at odds right now but i'm trying to help you out me and you at odds right now right so technically i would be in your energy but if me and you were friends I would be in your energy also so if i hang out with you every day or you know i'm just around you or we close you might have some of my energy around you okay so clearly that's what happened to you you, you trying to be nosy still, you still nosy. And the person that you were looking at, the energy that you are trying to tap into, why would you even try to tap into that person's energy knowing that that energy is a, um, they have lots of energies around them is what I want to say. So right now you could be getting anything off that person. So you literally picked up something from him or saw something from that energy and then you went on go. And I don't know if you asked the person about the energy I don't know if you asked that energy, you know, any questions about me or anything else, but I'm very sure that that energy will say they never met me ever in their life, ever. Not one time. I can almost guarantee you that that energy would tell you that <laughs> nothing pertaining to I don't even know how to say this being as though like I know why you would pick up on the energy but I don't know why you would pick up on the energy I don't even know why you would be trying to why don't you just trust the person and it's weird because I'm going to give you this I'm hearing and this is not because I know the energy at all period but I'm hearing um, that Apparently this energy, you was there for this energy during a time when they really, really needed you. That's what I'm hearing. And so I don't know what's happening in your relationship at all, period. Or, if, you know, you created the problem or something, or maybe you just wasn't feeling, you know, yourself or whatever. Because like I said, I went back to check on your videos and stuff, you know, since you was in my business and you look very beautiful right now. So, again, don't take this as, you know, we, <laughs> I'm being nice, but you do. You definitely look very beautiful from the time that I was awakened and aware of you. And I said that on one of your comments. I said that. You didn't see it because you liked a different comment that was above that. So, I don't know why you didn't scroll down to see that I said. I'm going to comment here before I get into this video because, as I told you before, the way he was talking was reckless out the mouth. And I didn't like it. So, 
just so you know, the energy has nothing to do with me, but I still didn't like it. And you shouldn't talk about nobody that you claim to love like that at all, period. Because it's disrespectful. And I don't know how old you are, but you seem to be young. Um, you need to learn to watch your mouth, especially if a person is taking care of you or a person is like, you know, trying to help you out or a person is, um, that's the person that you love. You need to figure out a better way to try to approach that person about your insecurities or your feelings and you know all of that because i understand like as women and like i said i know you have a baby because i hear you saying okay my son is crying my son you know that's how i, I know that you know why are you not going to get your son if you are you hear him going crazy um so i understand that sometimes we and we might not even know and i'm not a therapist so you know i'm just you was in my business so now i'm in yours so now we friends or you know uh friend of me however you want to carry it but um so sometimes we go through depression after we have kids and we don't know that you know that's what it is or we just are not comfortable in the body that we're in and um it's a lot that women go through that we go through that we don't talk to anybody about that we don't feel any you know we don't feel like we want to talk to anybody about because we don't know if we can trust them or not and so, um, we get insecure about some stuff and then we start acting out because clearly to me, you was acting out. And even if you know something about the, yeah, like you, you just was doing too much. And I kept warning you, I'm steady saying like, why are you doing that? Why are you being this? Why are you being that? And then I'm trying to tell you, I don't even really want to be here. I didn't want to be here on your channel, but this is the reason why I'm on your channel because I keep getting being pulled to this. And then I'm noticing that you're using my information and I didn't like it. Because why are you in my information? That's nosy. And like I said, and initially what I was made aware of you, it was because they said y'all were, you were connected to the person that was investigating me which <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> so apparently something happened in the process of the investigation. But anyway, when I was awakened, that's where it went. So that's why I was told to pay attention to you. And then I got tired of watching you because y'all was like slowing my brain down. And then I was over it. But then I got forced back to the situation. So yeah, flag on the play. That's not it. Um, Y'all should still be minding your business, everybody. Everybody. But since we wasn't, and now I'm not, because apparently y'all didn't know it was going to get this deep. <laughs> and I'm, I, I hate to say it like this, but I'm really not sorry. Because when I asked the first time, if you want to tell me something or if you're trying to help me, then help me. Um, you just went a little bit too far for me. So I ain't like it. But yeah, so now I'm offering something different <laughs> to say, not my energy, not my energy at all. Um, I don't know if you knew that that wasn't my energy, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's not my energy. And I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything else. Is there anything else? Apparently there's something else. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> um, so I'm, oh, this might be the other thing. When God is saying, um, be the voice of reason. That wasn't God. That was, you know, somebody in my business. Uh, <laughs> but be the voice. No, God was saying be the voice of reason. So that was God. But the other thing was somebody being in my business. Be the voice of reason. So this is me being the voice of reason. Saying. I'm willing to throw up the white flag if you stay out of my business and I don't see no more of my information coming out your lips. Because if you want to talk to me, my number's there. If you don't want to talk to me, stay out of my business and don't be having my information all over the place. Because it's beginning to be annoying. And 
when y'all go low, I'm going to go high. But when it get too high where I'm tired and I'm still looking down and seeing y'all just playing around in my playground and I didn't ask you to come over to, it's private property over here. Okay? The fence is up, the signs are out, the dogs are loose. It's private property. Let's maintain our privacy. Our privacy. <laughs> Let's maintain that. Okay? Was it me? Okay. The energy's just in there. So apparently we all in each other's energy field right now. So mind your manners and let's be a good woman and figure out how to save the relationship if we're gonna save it. I mean, I can help help you sign up for the coaching. It's online. No harm, no foul. I'm not mad. And, you know, we can FaceTime and, you know, I could hook you up with the, you got to pay your fee though still. But, um, I'm willing to, uh, spiritually life coach you and we could talk and, you know, figure out where we need to get, how we need to, you know, get our minds and our, you know, selves together and work this out, you know, bring it to a victory for everybody. But yeah, stop playing it in my face because I don't like it. And that's all I'm going to say. So, white flag, if you like. But it's a bunch of red flags right now that I see. But I'm throwing out the white flag if you want, you know. No, it wasn't me. Okay, I think I'm free to go. See you later. And I don't have no headsets in. I'm trying to figure out what's up with the headsets. I don't have none of them in. What I'm saying, I'm saying to y'all because I'm saying it. I told y'all. So I don't know who programming y'all, but ain't nobody programming me but the man upstairs. So I said what I said. White flag. If you like it. If you don't, I'll see you next time. <laughs>